All right then, here we are. Thanks for joining another Sunday evening free live class with Wellness for Jiu Jitsu. If you wouldn't mind taking a second to click on that like button, uh, share, subscribe, uh, whatever you can do to show us some support and join me. My name is Tyler. We'll be doing a 20 minute class today, focusing on the arms all the way from our fingers to our shoulders. It's really good to do for Jiu Jitsu. One second. Hi, Rob. No audio. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Are we good, Hyro? I think we're good. Okay. Starting over. So this class is going to be uh, for the arms, but we're going to be spending a lot of time seated on the ground. So why don't you take a second to make yourself comfortable in a cross-legged position? It can be uh, nice to prop your hips up on a blanket or maybe a folded yoga mat, whatever you need to do to get yourself comfortable. Um, oh, I should have said this first, but we'll be using a strap. So anything, a jujitsu belt, or even just a towel, something about this long, that's all we need. So take a minute to do that. If you're comfortable, you have what you need, a glass of water, maybe turn on some music. We're just gonna do a minute, minute and a half of meditation, bringing our mind and our focus, our attention into our body, into our breath, so once you're comfortable, close your eyes, roll your shoulders up and back, make your spine nice and straight, tuck your chin a little bit, and begin to breathe deeply using your nose if it's available. If you went to find a strap, just joining us here. Filling your belly and your chest. Fully in and fully out. Two more nice, big, deep, long breaths. All right, let your eyes open. We're gonna do some more breath work, but we're gonna incorporate some movement into our hands, get the fingers warmed up. So on our exhale, open hands, inhale, close your fists. So that'll help to time with the breathing. This is a kind of breath of fire. If you're more comfortable with your hands here, if you wanna bring more energy, throw your hands up over your head. And again, it's exhale and open, inhale and make a fist. Find your own rhythm or follow me. nice and big let it go take a deep breath hold your breath bring your hands together in front of your chest lift your elbows stretch your wrists hold your breath relax your face relax your shoulders 
Stretch your wrists, stretch your fingers. Take a nice, let that go. Take a nice, nice deep breath in whenever you need to. Moving into some side stretching. So we're gonna make an S grip. If you don't know, fingers together, lock that S shape grip, reach your hands over your head and then stretch towards the bottom side. So you're stretching, if you're leaning to your left, your right hand's on top and you're stretching the right side of your body. Keep your chest lifted, even stretch on the right side. Come back to center, switch your S grip so your right palm is facing up and stretch to the right side. Move side to side a little bit, switching that grip. All right, shake that out. Gable grip twists. So our gable grip thumbs connect to your hands, monkey palms, palm to palm, fingers over. Now left palm facing up pulls to your left hip and twist to your left, looking over your left shoulder. Take a couple breaths, keep your spine nice and long, shoulders down, back to center, twisting to the right, switching your gable grip, right palm up, twisting to the right, breathing deep. See if you can lead with that shoulder, so you're twisting your whole spine. Back to center, twist to the other side again. Maybe moving side to side. Whatever feels good. All right, we're gonna bring our hands behind our back. I'll spin around so you can see. If you just wanna grab your arms, that's fine. If you wanna grab your elbows, go for that. Otherwise, we're gonna go palm to bicep and rear naked choke. So I'm really stretching my right shoulder with a deep rear naked choke grip behind my back. If you just crossed at the elbows, you'll feel the stretch in both shoulders, but usually a little bit more dominant in one side. With this grip, I'm really stretching my right shoulder, just breathing into the space and the stretch. One more breath. All right, switch. So if you're grabbing your elbows, your other arm is in front. So you're feeling a little bit more stretch in the left shoulder. If you wanna make that rear naked choke grip, Left hand to right bicep and open up that left shoulder. Feel free to move your neck a little bit if it feels good, roll that shoulder and breathe. Let's switch the cross of our legs. If you haven't already, just even out your hips a little bit. And we're going to go into an eagle arms pose. So spread them out wide, open your chest, and then cross left arm over right. If you just want to pull it to the side, that's all the more flexible you are. So you get a nice shoulder stretch here. Do some wrist circles. If you want to take it a little bit further, bend your arms and interlace your hands. So your right palm, your right fingers meet your left palm. Start to lift your shoulders, keeping your back straight. I even like to bend my top wrist and wrist lock myself. If you can kind of see what I'm doing there, wrist locking that left hand downwards as I lift my elbows up. Lots of intense sensation here. Just breathe into it. Shake 
it out and cross right arm over left pull it across test that stretch out a little bit roll your wrist stay there or go to eagle arms left fingers to right palm if you want to grab onto your thumb here too that's a little bit shorter grip that's nice just make some kind of connection if you want to go all the way to that wrist lock that's my favorite elbows are lifting bringing that stretch down your shoulder blades Nice deep breaths. If this stretch is too intense for you, go ahead and leave a comment. <laughs> no worries. A couple more breaths. Where are you? I'm in Montreal. Quebec, Canada. Parlez-vous français? Shake that out. Let it go. And we'll change our seated position, coming on to our knees, hero's pose, or uh, passing position. If you want to add a little stretch, tucking your toes under for a active passing position. And that can bring a nice stretch into your feet as we do these uh, wrist stretches here. So keeping your weight heavy on those toes. And then coming forward with just normal hands. Fingers spread really wide and just begin to rock your weight forward over your wrists. Get those fingers nice and wide, maybe rocking side to side a little bit. Bringing some pressure, compression into the top of your wrist. Don't forget to breathe. Turn your hands outwards so your fingers face back towards your knees and you can play with the position coming forward or back leaning more forward or leaning more back until you find a nice stretch into the forearms and the bottom of the wrists this time drop your, don't hunch your back too much keep that chest open shoulders drawing down and breathe If you're a gi player, I bet this feels really good. I haven't put a gi on in a while, but it still feels good. All right, shake that out. If your toes are feeling, your feet are feeling a little too intense, just untuck your toes and sit, sit normal. If that's really hard on your knees, you can also prop your butt up on a block. It's a nice little adjustment, so you're not compressing in your knees too much. And now we're going to roll our wrists. So following the line of a bracelet, bringing your hands back and through and just rolling them out like this, making your hands nice and small helps to feed them through. Go five more times in this direction. And five times in the other direction. All right, the last wrist stretch, the backs of your hands to the mat. So your palms are facing up, fingers facing each other. Put as much weight or a little weight as you feel is good for your wrist stretch and then make fists. Open your fingers wide and make fists. This is really intense for me, but it does a really nice job of forcing some fresh blood into my sore wrists. Nice, shake that out. This time, untuck your toes in heroes. Lean back, fingers facing towards your feet. Start to engage your glutes and stretching the tops of your thighs, but really focusing on opening your chest and feeling that stretch in the fronts of your shoulders, across your chest, as well as your wrists here too. 
Move around a little bit until you find a nice comfortable stretch in your chest, shoulders, and then breathe deep. Feel that expansion, let it go. Let's do five nice deep breaths here. You can let your head hang back. Really roll those shoulders open one more time. One more nice, big, deep breath. Let it go. Do some nice shoulder rolls. A few backwards, a few folder, forwards. And then make your way down to your belly. All the way down to your belly. Stick your right arm out to the side. You can't quite see that, but that's okay. My right arm is all the way out, and then I'm opening up onto my right hip, pushing my left hand into the mat to stretch my right shoulder again, maybe bringing a little bit of twist into my spine and just breathing here. This can be a really intense shoulder stretch if you push a lot, but if, you're, if it's too intense, just back off and feel your body weight fall onto your right shoulder and bring a nice stretch. Breathe. Back to center. Little baby back bend. Cobra pose up onto your forearms. Take a nice deep breath. Left arm out to a T. Bend your right knee. Put your right hand into the mat and twist, rotate over your right arm. That stretch might be in just your shoulder or it might be all the way along your bicep into your elbow. That's cool. Enjoy it. A couple more breaths. Back to center. Turn your arm, your palm face down and put it underneath your pelvis. Both hands, palms facing down underneath your pelvis. I don't know how well you can hear me here, but what I wanna do is arm bar myself with my hips. So I'm putting my body weight into my arms and just extending, almost hyper extending my elbows a little bit, laying on top of my arms. This is a version of locust pose that they do in the Bikram class. And I find it really nice for sore elbows. If it's too intense, just do one arm at a time. All right, let that go. Push yourself back up to a seated. I'm a little over time, but that's all right. Hopefully you can stay with me for five more minutes because I want to do a couple more poses. I forgot the one with the strap, and this is one of my favorite ones. So we're going to backtrack a little bit, but it's no big deal. So come back to our seated position. Heroes are on your knees. Right arm over your head with that strap or towel in your hand. Let it fall behind your back. Reach behind with your left hand and connect. So I'm got, I've got a... Amer Americana with my right arm and a Kimura with my left arm. If you're really flexible, maybe you can make an S grip behind your back. Otherwise, walk your hands as close together as you can to feel a good stretch in both your shoulders and just breathe.
straighten your arms out. Switch your belt to your left hand. Let it fall behind your back and catch it with your right. Americana Kimura, walking your hands together along that strap, getting a nice even stretch. Right shoulder, left shoulder. Make sure you're not collapsing forward too much. Keep that chest lifted. Breathe. Keep holding that if you want. Otherwise, let's just go back and forth a little bit. Side to side. Drop that belt. And Americana Kimura. Both sides, just moving back and forth. This is a really nice one to do before jujitsu class to get your joints warmed up. Our shoulders, arms, hands should all be feeling pretty loose right now. Let's end with uh, the same thing we started with, uh, breath of fire and making fists. So just give ourselves a nice boost of oxygen, bunch of fresh energy and fire. So exhaling and opening your fists, inhaling, clenching them. more. Here we go. Close your eyes. Deep breath in. Open mouth. Sigh it out. I hope you're feeling good. Thanks for joining. Um, if you haven't already, give us a like, a comment, subscription, share, whatever you can do. We appreciate it. Uh, check out below for a discount code on a monthly membership for Wellness for Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, I appreciate you. Love you. Us. Namaste. Peace.